morning good morning i'm just now waking up so excuse my roughness um what i will be comparing today what i will be trying to attempt to persuade you on is shoe brands i feel that nowadays shoes are being blown out of proportion and the quality is truly being overlooked so i got a few examples one of my favorite shoes right here we have a reebok this is the new reebok model very clean for as many wears as I've had. They've stayed pretty well. No disconnecting from the sole base as well. Next shoe I have is a work shoe I had. I actually worked at Menards in this shoe. And it's still in pretty good condition, to be honest, for me to have worked a whole year. Um trying to get used to this camera angle I'm sorry that's what these look like no oh, it's turned and then finally the infamous Michael Jordan these are beat these are torn apart and I've literally had these the same amount of time and I probably didn't even do as much as I did in the other shoes as I did in these. Like, Basically, I'm saying I did more in my Nikes and my Reeboks than I did in these. All I really did was wear these around and they got like this. So now my first comparison is the price. Why are Jordan so much? According to Citizen Times, I've read that Jordans are only manufactured for about 16 bucks. Maybe even lower than that since they're mass produced. But for every single release, I mean, these alone, these came out in these came out in 2011, and I can remember the price. It was 185 plus tax, about 205 for something that in a year's time. Well, in 2011, that's a while. That's seven years. But I I recently just got them brand new. Like they were brand new from 2011. They messed up in about a year's time. All this paint's gone. It's just like the quality. The quality is everything to me. And all of this is just not explaining quality. So tore up. So beat down. Just paint gone. Gone. So dirty. Uncleanable. These cost me 40 bucks. Not even 40 bucks. Probably like 30 something and I mean they're they're in great quality the quality is amazing no shoestrings so there's nothing really to get torn up I throw them in a washer from time to time and they're still clean the bottoms are still intact I could still get grip with these for a $150 difference and then lastly we have these I purchased these from Marshalls for $20 these are amazing amazing quality dirt's on there but it's okay the suede's actually a good suede i just look at it as where does the initial price come from for jordan if there's no quality it has to just be over the initial name just the the what's the word i'm looking for it's it's the it's the reputation that jordan has because he's such a known basketball player that you just want to be like him but overall, it's just the quality that I look for. Next, I wanted to explain how much Jordan is slightly revenue and just just off one shoe alone, he sold three hundred and eighty three thousand pairs, according to Soul Collector and Men's, and seven hundred thousand kids pairs just alone in this December for the new Elevens that came out. They're red, white, and black. Simple colorway, very nice. But for that many people to have wanted that shoe for $200 plus, it's amazing to me. It's amazing. It's no comparison. There is no comparison. Um, next, I want to go into the availability is hard as well. I mean, much like I had just explained There's over a million pairs sold total in Jordans every release. And this is in a day's time. This isn't in months. This is 
here's a million pairs are selling out in a day. So the availability is creating such a havoc and such a rage that there's no, now there's no joy in getting Jordans, I feel. I feel that you're just trying to get them to sell them to the next person, which there's nothing wrong with creating your own, you know what I mean, black market value or however you need to get through with spending the amount of money that you spent. But I feel that Jordans are just taking off on a whole nother note. And I feel that the quality needs to be up if, if there's going to be such a frenzy for them and there's going to be such a high price. Because once again, I can explain any shoe that I have looks better than my Jordan suit. And it's weird because I really don't even usually wear my Jordans more than I wear my other shoes. And they still look better than my Jordans. So I just feel pay attention to what you're buying. Get your money's worth and don't just get what everybody else wants. Get what you feel fits you best and what you feel is worth your money. Thank you. Hopefully I did this persuasive video correctly. And I hope that you guys are having a great, beautiful day enjoying this weather. Thank you.